Israel's lackeys have been given their orders to throw the focus back onto Iran. Here is a recap of what they're trying to make you forget. Last spring, Rose Gottemuller, an assistant secretary of state and Washington's chief nuclear arms negotiator, asked Israel to sign the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. Israel refused. The United Nations passed a resolution calling on Israel to sign the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty and to submit to inspections. Israel refused. The IAEA asked Israel to sign the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty and to submit to inspections. Israel refused. Iran's formal notification to the IAEA of the planned construction of the backup fuel rod facility underscores that Iran is playing by the rules of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, which Iran has signed. Iran allows IAEA inspections of all its facilities. Contrary to face-saving claims, it appears that the US and Israel were both caught off guard by Iran's announcement. The reasoning is simple. Had the US or Israel announced that the existence of the new facility before Iran notified the IAEA, it would have put Iran on the defensive. As it is now, the US and Israel seem to be playing catch-up, casting doubt on the veracity of Israel's claim to know that Iran is a nuclear threat. The IAEA and all 16 United States intelligence agencies are unanimous in the agreement that Iran is not building and does not possess nuclear weapons. In 1986, Mordecai Vanunu blew the whistle and provided photographs showing Israel's clandestine nuclear weapons factory underneath the reactor at Dimona. Israel made the same accusations against Iraq that it is making against Iran, leading up to Israel's bombing of the power station at Osirik. Following the invasion of 2003, International experts examined the ruins of the power station at Osirik and found no evidence of a clandestine weapons factory in the rubble. The United Nations has just released the Goldstone Report, a scathing report which accuses Israel of 37 specific war crimes and crimes against humanity in Gaza earlier this year. Israel has denounced the report as anti-Semitic, even though Judge Goldstone is himself Jewish and the United States will block the report from being referred to the War Crimes Tribunal at The Hague, thereby making the US government an accessory after the fact. Recently revealed documents prove not only that Israel has nuclear weapons, but actually tried to sell some to apartheid South Africa. Who else Israel approached to sell nuclear weapons remains an unasked question. In 1965, Israel stole over 600 pounds of weapons-grade uranium from the United States. Declassified documents from the former South African regime prove not only that Israel had nuclear weapons for decades, but has tried to sell them to other countries. We all need to be Joe Wilson right now. We need to stand up and scream, liar, at every politician and every talking media moron that is pushing this war in Iran. And we need to keep doing it until they get the message that we will not be deceived anymore. Israel wants to send your kids off to die in Iran, and you are the only one that can stop them.